Hi, I'm Jimmy Blakeney, board sports and paddle sports instructor and product designer for Isle. In this video, we're gonna talk about a topic that a lot of people are interested in, which is hybrid paddleboard kayaks. What are they? What are the pros and cons? Are they any good? Hybrid paddleboard kayaks, some people call them sup yaks, some people call them just hybrids. Uh, these are basically two-in-one craft that allow you to both paddleboard or kayak, specifically sit on top kayak, with one product. So that's really cool. They've become a lot more popular th these days, but uh, the question becomes, what are the trade-offs? What are the pros and cons? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. So starting off with some of the pros. All right, so the first one, of course, is obvious. It's the versatility, right? Two in one, you get two products for one. That's a great benefit. But of course, we need to know what are the, tr what are the trade offs in performance for each of those activities? Because a two in one product is only as good as it is at each of those activities. If it doesn't do either well, well, that's not really a great product, right? So it does matter actually which one you get because it will affect those factors for performance. In addition to versatility, another key thing about these is the fact that you are able to sit down if you don't want to stand up. So a lot of people are learning to paddleboard or interested in learning to paddleboard, but they're not sure if they're going to be successful. So this is a great way to purchase a product knowing that you're going to be working on standing up, knowing that you can always sit down and enjoy this product as a sit on top kayak and it'll be great. So that's another great pro to hybrids hybrid paddleboard sit on top kayaks. Um, so another pro is the fact that unlike a traditional kayak, you can use this entire deck. Now you can use it, the entire deck, whether it's a paddleboard or a kayak, because you can move around on the deck. You can have a dog on the deck. You can have a kid. You can add uh, gear to the deck of the boat in the case of this, this uh, kayak setup. So that is another really cool advantage. Another thing is they can't fill up with water, right? So traditional kayaks, they have an internal space that if you tip it or water splashes over or you flip it, it fills up the water, it can sink, you gotta somehow get back to shore. So you don't have to think about that at all. The water will just shed right off the top of the deck. Uh, these inflatables are super rigid, so you, you, can, you can basically just know that that water is gonna shed off. You never have water standing on the deck. The another, another thing related to that is you don't, you're not gonna feel trapped inside. So I've heard a lot of folks say they don't like the feeling of being trapped inside a kayak cockpit. That is not the case here. You have a sit on top kayak, you're on top. You don't have that feeling of being trapped inside. So finally, the, the final pro that I'll mention, and please comment below if you have additional pros or cons that we'll talk about in a minute um, in the comments section. But you know, the fact that these are inflatables uh, means that they do pack up and they're super portable. So not only, not only are the benefits of a traditional inflatable there, but the benefits of a two-in-one mean you're getting like two products in one bag, super portable, so that's another big pro. All right, so we talked about the pros. Let's get into some of the cons because there certainly are trade-offs if you're looking at a hybrid paddleboard kayak. One of the ones I mentioned is performance, right? So when it comes to performance, it is going to be a trade-off, but it depends on the quality and the, and the design of the particular hybrid paddleboard kayak you're purchasing. Um, you want to look for one that has a system to allow you to attach your seat and a foot brace to the board to turn it into a boat um, and have a lot of versatility, right? Because each person, you're going to need to trim out your, your boat differently. We talked about trim in a separate video, so check that one out. But you're going to need to trim this out. You're going to want to position the seat, the foot rest differently if you're taller, shorter, and depending on the load, right? So. That is um, definitely something that you have to consider when you're looking at these. It's not really a con as much as it is just be careful because if you don't have one that's designed properly, it can be a poor experience you know, all around. Um, so another con is the fact that you do not have the internal storage space that comes with a traditional kayak, right? So you, you're not able to put that gear inside, um, but what that means is you have to use dry bags. And ideally, you have attachment systems to allow you to attach your, your dry bags to the, to the deck. But it is a con. If people want to store stuff inside, you're definitely not going to have that with a hybrid uh, sit-on-top paddleboard kayak. Um, another one is there's no sidewalls. So some people, in the opposite of people feeling trapped, some people just like to have a sidewall because it makes them feel secure because they have sidewalls. Um, and also, it can prevent some of the splash and water from coming on the, on the, on the deck. Um, in this case, for, for these, the deck is flat, the water will slide right off, but the water can come over if, you, if you're in any kind of waves. So you have to be willing to accept the fact 
that you might get water splashing over the board. You might have water splashing on you a little bit more than with a deck or a kayak with sidewalls. Um, but that is, that is something to consider. Finally, we do want to consider uh, the fact that these are planing hulls. So on these inflatable hybrids, uh, it is a flat planing hull. And this flat planing hull is great. It performs great. It paddles great. However, there are specifics of the technique for paddling these, um, especially as a kayak. We cover that. We have a series of videos covering paddling technique for these hybrid paddleboard kayaks. So check that out. But what it means is that when you're out in choppy or open water, um, there can be a disadvantage to these flat planing hulls versus what we call a displacement hull, where the hull has more of a shape that sits in the water. Um, because on this case, you're sitting on top of the water and the board tends to slide around and the fin at the back or the skeg is what allows it to track. And that is gonna perform differently than a kayak with a displacement hull. So that's just something to keep in mind. It can be a con, depending on what you, what you wanna do with it, but you definitely wanna keep that in mind. So those are some of the pros and cons of hybrid paddleboard kayaks. Um, comment below, let us know what you think. Um, let, let us know what I missed. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, put them down below and we'll see you on the water.